Hello and welcome to Kickoff Commentary and day number 8 of 32 teams in 32 days and today we continue our run through the AFC North with the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers had probably the most eventful offseason of any team in the NFL. It's rather the team loses two all-pro quality players in the same offseason, but the Steelers did it this season by losing Ant Le'Veon Bell to free agency and trading Antonio Brown to the Oakland Raiders. Will this affect the team in the long term? Certainly. You don't lose two players that talented, I feel like, and improve. However, the team has some decently worthwhile replacements in their wake. James Conner filling in for Le'Veon Bell at times showed that he could be just as good as Bell was at his peak when Conner is playing up. Did he do that every week for the Steelers last season? Of course not. It's not surprising. He wasn't expected to carry the load that season until Le'Veon began his holdout. As far as losing Antonio Brown, that's going to have some long-term effects, I think more so. Juju Smith-Schuster had an amazing season in his second year for, for the team, and I think that's going to be continued for Juju going into the future because I think he's very talented. However, without having a player like Brown to scare corners off on the other end, it's going to be pretty hard for me to think that they're able to continue to be as powerful with Schuster as they were last season. However, as far as things change, at the top for the Steelers, things will be the same as they've always been. Mike Tomlin will once again be the head coach, and Ben Roethlisberger will once again be the quarterback. These two have been a duo in the NFL for a very long time, and I doubt we'll see a massive drop-off for them this season. Last year, Pittsburgh, despite being as talented as they were, somehow managed to miss the playoffs. A lot of, uh, let's say, dysfunction last season for the Steelers did them no favors, as the team never seemed to get on the same page. This season, they hope to reverse course on that, and let's see how they do in the schedule. In week one, they travel to Pittsburgh, a very rough go of it, to play against the Patriots. Not a game I can foresee them winning. The Patriots are usually fairly slow out of the gate, admittedly, but I just don't see them being able to go into Gillette and beating New England there. After that, they are at home against the Seattle Seahawks, and unfortunately, i got to predict another loss here for them. I just, Seattle is a great football team at times. Russell Wilson's a great quarterback. Pittsburgh, I think, is in for a bit of a down season. After this, though, I do think they win back-to-back -back games against the 49ers and the Bengals. They're better than both of those teams. It's probably close against San Francisco, because I think the Niners are on the upswing, but I predict Pittsburgh will be 2-2 two two after that. After this, they are at home against the Ravens, a series I think they probably split this season. I think Pittsburgh wins the home one here, gets them out to 3-2. and two. After that, they travel out to Los Angeles to play up against the Chargers, and the Chargers are a very talented football team. I think Pittsburgh probably loses that one, though 3-3 three three heading into their Week 7 bye. After that, they're at home against the Dolphins. Going to be an easy win there for them. No questions asked. The Dolphins are bad. The Steelers aren't. Up against the Indianapolis Colts, they go. Very interesting game. It's a home game for the Steelers. Had you asked me this last week, I would have said Pittsburgh gets absolutely destroyed, or at the very least, they're, I don't think they have a chance of winning. However, with Andrew Luck's injury concerns, this is a much closer game, but it seems like Luck should be playing by week 9 of the season, even if he is injured, and I think that gives the Colts the edge. Same thing with the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams were in the Super Bowl last season. I don't think they're going to take a massive step backwards. And so I think that the Steelers probably lose those two games in a row. After that, they travel to Cleveland, and I think they win that one. I think that they are able to beat the Browns in Cleveland. Cleveland is a team on the upswing. I think they're going to do well. However, I just, I don't know, man. Something about in Cleveland, Big Ben has more wins there than any other quarterback since the Browns returned, which is a very sad stat for the Browns. I just, I think that's probably a win for them. After that, I think they lose to Cincinnati on the road. I think the Bengals finally break through, and I think the Browns get some revenge in Week 13 by beating the Steelers on their home stadium. After this, they travel to Arizona, where I do think they'll beat the Cardinals, rookie quarterback and Kyler Murray. Team that could be a surprising team. Rookies are always hard to gauge at quarterback position, but I just don't think the Cardinals are ready to beat a team like Pittsburgh. After this, I predict that the Bills will be able to get a surprise win in Heinz Field against the Steelers. I think the Bills are a team on the upswing in Pittsburgh with Roethlisberger could be a team that, although talented, certainly, I think may not be trending in the right direction at the top. Uh, as far as Ben's age, it could be finally getting to him this season, and I think the Bills are able to win that one. After this, they travel out to New York to take on a Jets team that I think is going to be white hot in the second half of the season, and I think that they probably take a loss there as well. In the final week of the season, they travel out to Baltimore, and a team that I, at this point I think Pittsburgh is just defeated. They have an unbelievably difficult run of games here at the end. They go out on the road a lot in the second half of the season, and I think they lose to Baltimore as well to end the year. So overall, that puts my prediction for the Steelers at 6-10. and 10. Now, I know that's pretty bold for a team that was good last year and without Le'Veon Bell to begin with. But losing Antonio Brown hurts. Like I said, I think the Steelers, due to Ben's age and the way the team has been, could be on a bit of a backslide this year. And that might be good for them to get a higher draft pick. I could be completely wrong. A lot of the games I said they would lose, they could win. Seattle at home. New England in Week 1, because the Patriots are hard to beat 
or hard to play as well early in the season. Indianapolis could be a toss-up if Luck is injured. The Cleveland game could be a toss-up game. Anything like that. Uh, certainly Buffalo and New York are not teams that are I'm sold on 100% to beat Pittsburgh there. But again, as always, that is just my prediction on things. Steelers fans, I know there are tons of you out there. Let me know exactly what I'm wrong about on your team and how well you think you guys will be doing this season. I would love to hear your take and I'm enjoying the idea of hearing it. This has been Kickoff Commentary and have a wonderful day.